Let the story commence. Craig went to some fucking restaurant and had to write his number down because they had a, a, a pen and paper form of track and trace. Within about three fucking days, he starts getting these fucking phone calls and texts with stupid special offers for companies he's never heard of. Then he starts getting texts saying, oh, there's a parcel to be delivered, but the person hasn't paid the thing, the postage. Go to this website that kind of looks like the parcel delivery lot, but if you look closely, it's like that hyphen something. Because you don't know how URLs work. Nobody knows how URLs work. You can have www. You can have something like it's a www. Dot fucking Royal Mail. Dot. Can you actually? Can you actually have that? Can you have that? Can you have something like Royal Mail. Dot Lemmy. Dot com. I can't quite remember. You can have Royal. Ah, you, you can have. Instead of www, is that right? A subdomain, aye. Aye, like a... If it's available, aye, you can do, aye, you can do something like that. Um, if it's like that, oh, but he was like clued up, he could spot, he spotted it like, fucking, do you know what would be that fucking restaurant, by the way? Got a phone call. Fuck, I'm going to answer it. I'm going to answer it. Just, just so I can tell people what happened. Hello? Hi there. We have a something, 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 something. Something, something, something. But it hasn't been something, something, something. All we need from you is just uh, uh, just you, for you to confirm your address uh, and confirm your name. Can you tell us, first of all, who you are and confirm your address? Uh, well, I don't really know what this is. As I said, this is a delivery. Uh, but the person hasn't paid the postage. So we just need your, um, first of all, your name and address. To, I don't know what this is, though. Who sent it? Wait, that's something we're not allowed to tell uh, due to privacy. You know, we, we regard privacy very important. Um, uh, right, aye. Right, right. Bollocks. I beg your pardon. This is a scam. I can assure you this is not a scam. I, bollocks, fuck off. Hung up. Didn't get any scam phone calls again. And then Craig went, right, I know what this is coming for. I gave my phone number at that fucking restaurant. But this track and trace. They have taken all their fucking numbers. And they've sold them on. Or they, maybe them in good faith gave their numbers to whoever is, is in charge of that. And then somebody there, when it was put in a computer, then sold it on. And he went like, fuck it. And he went and run to this restaurant, just a wee restaurant. And went, right, and he, and he sat down. And for a drink or something to eat, I'm here for something to eat. He sat down. Okay, there's a, a menu and, and uh, there's track and trace there. If you could just fill that in. We don't have the, 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 the QR code thing. Uh, anything I can get you to drink? No! Okay, just just in for food then. No, no to the drink and no to this. I put my number in here. And then I'm getting scam phone calls. You've sold my details on. And there's a few other people in. And I can't be the only one who's experienced this. Am I right? A few other people in the restaurant were like that. Like that. So he then, he stood up. Right. The waiter went away. Went, I'm going to speak to the manager. Manager came out like that. Okay, what's going on here? 
And Craig said, Ever since I came into your restaurant, I know, I was told, wait, I told me, what's going on? Well, that's what's going on. You, you gave me another, no, I haven't. Have you been to any other restaurants? I've been, I, I went to, I went, I went to one, no, two other ones, and I went, where do you go? Well, no. And there was that cafe. I went there. Okay, so, so it could be them. Ah, so you're admitting it does happen though. Maybe no here, but it does happen. That's not my business. I don't care if they take your number, they, they give you funny phone calls. Heavy breathe, you do the phone. I don't care. None of my business. You're accusing me. And Craig went like, here, you know what? Here. Here, you know what? And Craig went round the back of the kitchen. Sneaked in. Said, can I use the toilet? Can I use the toilet? Use the toilet and then get out. He went, where is the toilet? Round the back. He went to the toilet. And you know how sometimes when you go to these toilets, you can sort of go to the, the, the door next. It's like the kitchen. Well, he went to pretend he was going to the toilet, then went to the kitchen. Uh, one of the chefs felt like that. Can I help you? And Craig, well, what do you mean? What, can I help you? He went sacked. Do you know who I am? And the chef went like that right away. Sorry, sorry. And Craig took out the deep fat fryer. Fat. It was still boiling away as he lifted it. And lifted it upstairs. Because it's downstairs, this kitchen. To pour it out the heat of the boss guy. But instead, a wee bit spilled out. It's all right, still, still had plenty left, a wee bit spilled out, but as he went up the steps, he stepped on it, slidey as fuck, it's oil, slid on it, crashed the whole fucking container in front of him, splash, basically put his, it went, it put, he wore it, he wore the whole fucking can, the container as a helmet, it went all at him, chip fat, do you know how, how hot chip fat can get? One of the things about oil is, you know, if you put it to boiling point of water, like 100 degrees Celsius, it doesn't then evaporate. You know, it's not water based. How hot can chip fat get? Between 350 and 375 Fahrenheit, which is in normal real temperatures, 350F in Celsius. Uh, 176 minimum. So, uh, so it can get to almost, uh, and higher, and higher. So it can get to almost twice, about twice the temperature of, of boiling water. That went right at him. And I was fucking screaming, you have never heard anything like this in your life. I'm not even going to imitate the screams because uh, Lynn's walking for home. But the scream, if I imitated the screams, it would be so bad. I may as well be showing pictures, horrible pictures. I would get banned. But he, he was immediately, it cooled down, he was immediately ba basically deep fried. He basically got deep fried. And the boss came down and saw what Craig, the state of Craig, and he felt sorry for him. He thought it was some sort of accident until he walked out what happened. That was meant for me. That was meant for me. And the boss took the container off Craig's head peeling off some of the skin with him. Saw him, basically, you know what he looked like? He looked like this. Hold on, I'll show you. That there. Deep fried, uh, kind of black pudding there. Deep, that, he looked like that.
Look like that. Look like that. He looked like that. Uh, Craig looked something like that. So he was also covered in flour. He was no, that I'm just no. He wasn't actually like that. The skin did that, and the boss once he knew that 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 was meant for him, the boss kicked his head in. And. You know what happened? You know what happened? Deep fried Mars bar. Basically, it was like that. Deep fried Mars bar. The inside, the outside, the skin was all crispy. The inside, basically, like a limpet. It was like that, it was all, it was, it was just all melted and still bubbling away, still bubbling away and the boss went like that, the chef came out and went, oh my god what's happened and the boss went like that, I've done something terrible, I've kicked this guy's head in and, but look at him, are you thinking what I'm thinking and the chef went like that. Good. It's good. You get deep fried black pudding, which is basically like flour and like, I don't know. Blood. It's blood. Isn't it? The chef felt like, if you can keep this coming, if you can keep it coming. I can, I can do it, aye. But we've got to make sure this never gets suit. Because we could be in a lot of trouble. And the boss went like that. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> it's murder. Murder. Chef went, why are you saying it like that? Because I once said murder. And people all went like that. Murder. 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 So now I speak properly. Murder. Murder. Mur murder, 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 there'll be murder, murder, mirror, look in the mirror, look in the mirror, what you gotta want to do is look in the mirror, look in the mirror, Mirror, mirror on the wall. Um. So, the boss, any fucking, by the way, he didn't fucking, he didn't sell the fucking, he didn't sell the numbers on. It was completely unrelated. So, but for that point on, anybody who came in, Especially if they seem like a bit of a hot head. I could just write your name down for track and trace. Within like a day. Uh, the boss himself would phone up these people. Hide his number. 141 or whatever it is. I don't know if you could still do that. And we'd go like. Hi there. Hi. I'm from a delivery company. The person hasn't paid the money though, all you need to do is give us your account number, sort code and the password for your bank account uh, website. What? The You've walked out this is a scam? Oh no! <laughs> oh no! We're gonna have to get somebody else for the list, for the restaurant list. But do that, you know, it make it really, really suspicious. And then, a hot one of these cunts would come run and go like that. You gave my fucking number away to some fucking scam lot and it would happen every time exactly like that they would go down the stairs knock the chip fat, steal the chip fat and keep tripping up in that same bit 
And they fucking the five star ratings. This delicacy that they served. Um not one but two Michelin stars. The only restaurant in Glasgow with two Michelin stars. And then so see, once the whole track and trace thing stopped and coronavirus was all dealt with, um, people would say to them, you must be really happy and all that, that this is all coronavirus is all way so people can come in and all that and but because track and trace has gone well uh the boss said and this is an Italian interview it's been devastating for the business why is that don't understand and he's, he's let it slip out he wasn't he thinking straight he said because then I don't have people I kind of get people's phone numbers to then pretend to be a scam artist to then get them to uh, react by coming and doing a chip flat and doing that because that's what you have been eating the whole time we've been cannibalizing them we've been deep fat they've been deep fat frying themselves but we have caused the murder 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 mur 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 and that's what you have been eating oh fuck the judge sentenced him and the cook and the shit you know the chef to three consecutive life sentences each They're in there right now with their PFs, PS5s, the lot. And you know what they're playing? That's going to make you sick. To the, to the victims, can I just say to the families of the victims of these uh, people, I'm so sorry, it's going to make you sick. You might want to look away. So I should get fucking rid of that. Overcooked. Look at that. Sick. Sick. The end. It's sick. <laughs>